Hello everyone, Marshall here. Hope you are doing great. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to create schema markups without any prior knowledge of coding and how to apply that in your Wix website. So uh, a few months back, Wix didn't support, you know, uh, full flashed schema markups. There was a limit of how many character you can add in your schema code. But um, now Wix has lifted that limit and you can create your own custom code and uh, add your schema markups however you like now first of all for those of you who does uh, who don't know what the schema is um, schema markup is basically a set of code which uh, tells search engines the most important information about your article your product your website your uh, videos images or anything in general so uh, for example here is an uh, blog article that i have written and i have added a schema markup here about frequently asked questions so using this set of code i can tell google that these are the questions that i have on my website and if someone is searching for these questions uh, it can be shown in the rich results so it's a really important thing for your seo um, and it's really important for you to add it in your website now by default uh, Wix already adds uh, a schema of its own but if you want to modify it and add by yourself you can do that as well it's really easy so allow me to show you real quick so we're gonna look at two things one is for article and one is for product okay so for example let's uh, let's look at a product let's go to add it SEO settings and you can add your schema markup into advanced and structure data markup so as you can see Wix has already added uh, added its own markup but you can um, add your own markup here as well so how do you do that the first thing you need to do is uh, go to the um, URL of your product of your article or anywhere you want to add your schema markup and then you have to install this extension called schema builder for structured data okay it's a free extension uh, it is for Chrome um, I believe it should be available for other uh, browsers as well I'm running it on Chrome okay so now all you have to do is go here this is the extension so after you install the extension it will appear in this section um, like this and you have to pin it on top like this okay so go to your product click on this here and most of the time it will automatically detect the schema types okay so for example this uh, uh, green dot here suggests that this is a product and you can now create your own markup or you can uh, view your markup so most of the time it will uh, automatically um, import all the descriptions if you have any reviews it will uh, detect that as well you know so you can add your ratings you can add your image here you know so for example you can add the uh, URL of your image which is this one so copy this image and paste it here if you have any offer like any sales or anything you can add that here as well and there are so many things you can add you can add your ski SKU you can add your brand name you know you can add your uh, award you know you can add your category if you have any specific product that uses certain materials you can add that as well you can add award you know color settings product ID slogan model and many many more things okay and once you are done with it you can see the markup whatever you add um, in here will be converted into a schema code so for example let's say that this is the code after adding everything now you can just copy this go to your uh, product or article whatever it is go to um, structure data markup and paste your markup here okay now uh, this one is not a full flashed markup I haven't added any information but um, once you have done the uh, information you have added the information you can all uh, you can also test this uh, schema markup on Google either using this uh, button here test on Google or you can go to this website the rich result test from Google and you can uh, test your custom codes so um, go to the rich results paste your code in here and uh, 
this uh, website will uh, analyze your code and tell you whether the schema markup is correct or not. So it's a really easy thing. Uh, you can also do the same for your blog articles. Go to settings, sorry, SEO, and um, the same thing will happen here. Go to advanced settings, structure data markup, and whatever you have, for example, you have FAQ, you have recipes, you have, uh, let's say, some how-to tutorials. You can add all those uh, markups here, okay? So uh, you can go to, uh, let's say, this article let's preview this article real quick and you can click on here and um, you can then there are tons of uh, markups here so for example you have a job post you can do this you have a video you can do this if you are running a local business in certain area you can do this if you are selling images or nfts you can also add your licenses you know um, you can also add a, a QA page you have recipe you have reviews so it has every um, element every important uh, schema markup that you will need so yeah uh, you can then create your schema markup add all the important information go to the advanced SEO and just paste your code here so it's easy as that so yeah, this is for this is the quick tutorial about how to create a schema without the prior knowledge of any coding. And I hope you learned something. See you around.